Hi guys, so we are now at question number 13. So let's read this long set of questions that we have over here. We need to solve this question on this SSH. There is a team from project R500 that wants to replace their ingress via the gateway API. Let me remind you gateway API is a newly introduced topic in the 25, 2025 updates that we have for the CK. And the old ingress configuration is here, residing over here. We need to perform this operation in this namespace and there is already an existing gateway for it. So our very first thing is to create an HTTP route with name this with the replicas uh, with, which replicates the routes that are from the old ingress. So basically what the first thing is, firstly to create an HTTP route there must be a gateway. So firstly, we'll just SSH into the node and check all the configurations that we have over here. Okay. Let's first check this ingress since they have told us that it is the old ingress that we'll be using. It has set of commands over here. Okay. Now it says there is a gateway. Let's check the gateway too. in this namespace project okay we have this gateway residing over here and now it's time to create the http route your create http route okay we have a gateway class over here. Gateway has been already created. It's time for us to create the HTTP route. We'll copy this path and we'll do a quick vim q13 for this YAML and just paste whatever we have. Now let's update these. The name of the HTTP route is traffic director and we'll also add a namespace section over here which is created here now we have to add the gateway name which we had created we'll check that and rest of the configuration we have to take from the existing ingress that we have the old ingress is available replicates the routes from the old ingress so we'll be taking reference to the existing ingress that we have. So let's just copy everything from there. Okay. So if you see here, we have these rules. Let's copy it. And there is also the name main for the gateway that we have. Now edit this. Name is main. Okay, so we will just remove these back in references, rules, the whole rule section we will remove it and copy it over here. Okay, and it says that host names must be over here. So we'll just update it. We'll just remove this entry from your and add your to see the documentation here again. Rules have match path and backend references. So we'll again copy this section to make sure that are doing it properly okay okay so here it says that we have matches rules path path prefix is there 
we just need to add the desktop over here if you see here this is the configuration we are adding which is the desktop and backend is this service we'll add the service name as web hyphen desktop okay and port is 8080 similarly we'll do one more path over here copy the section and paste exactly below it so that there is no indentation issue okay there seems to be one okay again it says there's a path prefix now just check the below condition that we have which is for the web mobile and what is the path over here it is it is slash mobile and this is web mobile And port remains the same and we will just delete all this which we have copied okay now let's apply okay so it says HTTP route has been created so we will just fetch the route hyphen n and it is project 500 yeah and this has been created successfully over here there are few curls which are also mentioned so make sure that you do a curl and also check okay this is working next we have for the mobile one this is also working so we are good to go with the first part of the question that we have done so now let's look at the second part of the question which says that we need to extend the http route with the path slash auto which redirects to the mobile if the user agent is exactly mobile or otherwise uh, desktop so there is an or condition over here so if this or that will be used so what we'll just do is we'll again go to the same file that we have we'll add two more sections over here one it says that we need to match this desktop okay and okay okay so it says that if it matches the path slash auto so instead of desktop we'll use auto okay and it says it should redirect to um she redirects to mobile if user agent is exactly mobile okay so there is a condition one more so we'll add the header over here okay so it is the type exact that we need to add and name is user agent we'll copy this name from here and we'll paste it 
now comes is if value is mobile okay so let's check the condition again it says extend the http route for the path auto this we have extended which redirects to mobile it will redirect to mobile if and only if the user condition agent is there there is a typo so we will just add a t agent is there and there is a backend reference which goes to the web mobile okay so we have fulfilled this condition now now it says or else it will go to the desktop so we'll add one more match condition over here we'll copy this and paste it over here now let's look at it okay so path type type backend okay so it says if it does not go to so firstly we'll change the auto thing over here and it should go to web desktop if that condition doesn't go okay so let's try to apply this did not expect the key line 36 let's check which is line 36 over here there must be some indentation issue so back in reference is there okay so here we have found the issue it's the matches that is not intended properly hopefully it should be fixed now it is again line number 40 check the number okay this also needs to be over here it seems to be stuck yeah it has been configured now we will just describe it in the project yeah so here if you see we have this condition mentioned for the service user agent if it matches it will go to this path for the mobile or else or else it will just go to the web desktop for the same auto path that we have and the rest two conditions are already done just make sure you check the curl command next we have the auto okay user agent okay so there is some issue with the command let me fix and rerun it yeah this is now fixed since it wasn't taking the auto initially if it wasn't matching the condition so it showed web desktop over here web desktop app which is the correct or condition it was there if user agent is there so it showed web mobile app or else be it any condition it is going to the desktop app so this is also working fine so let's go to the another question